when new relationships are formed, someone usually gets jealous. Usually, the more insecure person, you ain't got nothing going on in their life, they get jealous. I've seen this plenty of times. It's not even about the genders, but we just use women for this example. And at the end, I'll give you an example with some guys. You could have two women. They could be either best friends or tight cousins or even sisters. Okay? Regardless of their relationship to each other, whether they're siblings or their family or their best friends, they, they see themselves as best friends. A lot of the time, when there's two girls, one of the girls gets a new boyfriend, a lot of the time, her attention, if she really likes this guy and she's into this guy, her attention from the friend, the cousin, the sister, whoever, gets pulled away and she focuses her attention on that new guy. You, not all the time, sometimes. Right? Now, fuck it, all the time. The other girl who's not getting as much attention now, the friend, cousin, sister, whoever, they don't like it. They do not like it. And the moment the guy does any little thing wrong, they will have nothing but bad things to say about that guy. I've seen it plenty of times. I've experienced it. I know exactly what I'm talking about. On the flip side, you could have the same two girls, let's say. Sometimes if that guy's insecure, he will have a problem with the fact that that girl has a really good relationship with her friend, sister, cousin, whoever that girl is. They will, that guy will get jealous of that girl. Oh, why are you going out with that girl again, man? Like, well, why can't we spend time and chill? That's pathetic. It's all right if the... The female has a problem with the new boyfriend or whatever, and I kind of expect that kind of thing from a woman. But if the guy has a problem with his girlfriend's relationship with whoever, it could be a mum, you know, that guy is pathetic because that guy ain't doing nothing with his life. A lot of men, at some point, they fall into this trap. I'm not going to say they completely kick their friends to the curb, but their new girlfriend, oh, she starts to suck the attention away from the man them and it goes on her. Not gonna say the guy kicks the friends to the curb completely, but definitely not just the friends, others around can observe. Oh, okay, my man is hanging out with his girlfriend a lot more than his friends. Really and truly, there should be a balance at worst. At best, he should be hanging out with his friends more than his girl. So boom. I've been in that situation before. Still my friend now. Still my friend now. Don't get it twisted. But before, we were like best friends. We were inseparable. All day, every day, we were hanging out. From midday to one in the morning. All day, every day. Man's gone to jail. Just for eight weeks. In 2011. During that time, the London riots has kicked off. And if any of you lot are from the ends, any of you lot are from London, you will know if you know about man them on the streets, bear man will go into jail. Yeah. They were flooding the prisons. Yeah. They had to move man around and shit like that yeah, because people were flooding and overpopulating the prisons. So many people were getting nicked because everyone was just bandwagoning and just doing crime or whatever. Right? So my friend and couple other men have gone and done something they're not supposed to and they've been arrested. So back then they were just putting everyone on remand. Yeah? which means you are in jail yeah, until your trial or whatever. So I'm in jail and he's in jail. Now he's somewhere else, I'm somewhere else. Yeah? I come out about a week and a half after he's initially been sent to jail. So whatever. Yeah. Next month is his trial. I've gone to his court case and whilst I was at his court case, I met a girl that became my girlfriend. Now, He's pleaded guilty, whatever, innit? Yeah. He's in jail for a long time now. During this time, the girl that I met and myself were official. And we are like this. Yeah. This girl would come to my house three, four times 
a week and she lived not far away but she had to jump on trains and shit like man's 19 she's 17 man she had to jump on trains and stuff to come and travel with me so she was investing her time like a good hour and 20 minutes three four times a week to come and see me so like she was like the love of my life at the time and so we were like tight or whatever now my mum knows my quote-unquote best friend at the time and she could observe that myself and this girl were really tight. And she said to me, Jay, what's going to happen when my man comes out of prison? Because you and that girl are like this and you and him were like that beforehand. And I thought, like, oh, you know what? You got a point, you know. Only time will tell. So anyway, boom. He's come out of prison now. And I remember the day he came out of jail. I'm walking across my estate and he's driving past. One of the man that's picked him up from prison. And he's driving past and he's just shining at his window. Blah, blah, blah. It was too funny. Obviously, if you're if you're not a hood person, you won't, you won't get it. But if you're a hood person, you get it. My man shining out. Blah, blah, and just, yeah, we're going mad or whatever. And obviously, it's my whole me and this is my... Brother, ain't it? Yeah, I'm happy to see him. I even went to go and visit him when he was in prison and everything, there, innit? But anyway, happy to see him, whatever. Now, first few days or whatever that he's come out of prison, we were still hanging out and stuff. But one thing you guys need to remember, I was working as well. So a man's working from like, you know, Monday to Friday, eight till four. After work, my girl will come and check me three, four times a week or whatever, innit? So I didn't always have time to be checking my friend or whatever. And from there, the kind of, our relationship, our friendship kind of went downhill or whatever. And it was a shame. It's a shame. We're still friends now. Still cool now. Still go, you know, I'm going to check him whenever I want or whatever. It? But it's a shame that some external person came in between the two of us. Now, it's pretty much my fault because one thing guys should never do is invest too much time into their girl. No, your girl is just an extra. Now, your friends are the priority. Don't make a girl your priority. I know that's what they want and they will try and fight to, you know, be the priority. Don't do it because when they do, eventually, when they become the priority, they will just lose attraction for you, unit because your focus is on them and it should be on other things. It should be on making money, working, your friends, and your girl should be like one of the least of priorities. If you make your girl a priority, you are headed down south. So eventually, him and I started to drift apart or whatever. But as I said, we're still cool now, but that's a situation that I've been in where an external person has kind of pulled me away from someone before, innit? Now, in my defense, in my defense, I was working, eh? I kind of turned my life around, you know, and plus I had this girl, so it's not like, and plus he weren't there or whatever, so he was absent. So, you know, at, at most points of your life, you're gonna have a best friend, whether it's your girlfriend, well, your girl shouldn't really be your friend anyway, but whether it's your girlfriend or a cousin, whatever, it? you're going to have someone that you're close to. And, you know, he went around and, you know, she came along. So naturally, it kind of just gravitated towards her. And, you know, it ain't even necessarily all about, you know, relationship, girlfriend or boyfriend. You could have a friend, irrespective of your gender, if you're watching this right now. If you start hanging around with someone else, yeah, you're giving another friend more attention, more time. That original friend, they won't like it. Okay? If, they're, if they're a bit insecure in themselves and they ain't got much going on, they won't like it. They'll have a problem with it. Trust me, I've seen it. I've seen it. Oh, you hang out with them, man, there, yeah? Well, them, man, yeah? Oh, I say nothing, innit? And the person gradually starts to drift away from you. Some people are like that. I've got friends that, or well, I had friends in the past where I've started hanging around with a neck, man, and they, they don't say nothing, they don't address the situation. But me, I'm like a psychologist. <laughs> I can read people's body language. I think I know this guy has a problem with it. Like even even certain things that I've said to a man, yeah, I'm going out raving with this man. He's like, oh, what are you going out with that man? Yeah, like just trying to bring it to my attention. Oh, you're hanging out with someone else other than me or whatever. They will never make an issue out of it or address the situation. But I know it. That's why I manage Jay White. But, yeah, I've been in that situation where my time and my attention is been drift away from someone else. Now, obviously, in my circle starts a bit different. My friend was locked up or whatever, and it's all, it was the inevitable, but yeah, I ain't no saint. You know, I ain't, I've done it before, innit? So, manager sharing that story. Stay wise.